Okay. About to go on soon. This is a little behind the scenes. We're getting the crowd pumped up, so we're getting ready to go. Get a little nervous. Eddie, how's it going? Yeah, how are you? Good, thank you. Yeah. Derek. Okay. Send me over here. Okay, cool. All right. Headed to the Amtrak, right? Yes, sir. Go ahead in. <sighs> yeah, I gotta tell you, this is really nice. All right, so here at the Providence train station, and uh, I don't know if I could film inside, so let me do this quick, but just got dropped off by my man. And uh, I'm gonna go make sure my ticket's good, and then we're gonna hop on the train, because we got a three hour ride to NYC. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. New York City, and I gotta find my car. It's a Lincoln Continental. Like it. it says closer to eight. I don't know where I'm going on this place. I never do. West 31st and eight. And we're out. It is now about 7:30 in the morning. I apologize for looking like I got hit by a train. We have to be in the lobby by 8.30, and we are heading over to Dr. Oz to, to film. Let's go through these bits of evidence based on your own research, your own independent work, to try to figure out what makes sense and what doesn't. And I see you sort of look almost shell-shocked as Bill Deere presents some of this information. So let's start with this knife. Right. Now, Bill Deere is saying this is the knife that Jason Simpson used to kill Nicole Simpson uh, and, and also Ron Goldman. That's what he's claiming. Right. Thoughts? Well, I mean, as you saw in the, in the clip, we, we were a little skeptical about it, but in order to do our due diligence, you have to look into every piece of evidence that's presented. And, and to do that, we had to bring that knife to be independently verified through a medical examiner to see if the blade was consistent with the wounds found on the victim. All right, so Dr. Oz is done. Now, the next stop, NBC Universal and uh, we're doing Access Hollywood. This is supposed to be a quick hit. Then we are going, I think we're done for today. And then we have to do uh, 
Inside Edition tomorrow, and then Satellite Tour after that. So fun day, eventful. Dr. Oz was great. He actually had watched the show, um, knew things about the show that um, I didn't think he would know, because uh, you know, they only showed a few segments, but he knew the whole show, which was really, really cool. Personable guy, attractive guy, man. The guy's a good looking dude. Just added one more thing to the, to the list of things I never thought I would do, so. Glad you guys are getting to kind of see it. I wish you could do some more behind the scenes, but they're very, very, very specific and very, very uh, strict about cell phones. They don't want you to have you have them on you when you're on set to make you give them to people. So I couldn't do too much behind the scenes, but um, I hope you saw enough. I have a picture I took with Dr. Oz. I'll make sure I throw that right about now. Yeah, so we're gonna go upstairs. We're a little bit early right now. Talk to you in a few. So about to eat dinner with my boy. You guys might recognize this guy. Who's, who's a, this is a video. Who's it, Nick? Oh, no, me? Yeah. No, I was... See, this is what I'm talking about. Family comes and checks you out. They come and visit you. You know what I'm saying? He's being funny, obviously, right now. I'm cracking my cell phone. That's how it goes. I'm the funniest guy around. That's how it is. Clearly. But anyways, I'm only here for one more night. We have uh, Inside Edition tomorrow and 20 satellite interviews. But yeah, just hanging out with family right now, enjoying dinner. That's probably going to be it for tonight. All right, so right now we are on our way over to Inside Edition. And as usual, I was late. Allison, publicist, was a little upset with me. No, she wasn't. I'm only kidding. But we are on our way now. Loving New York traffic. It's amazing. Everything that's about mm, seven minutes away takes about 20, but getting used to it. So yeah, hopefully I don't screw this up too bad. We have how many interviews do we have today? We have 20 from the SMT. 20. So this cold is going to be awesome all day. It's going to be really good for me. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Rhode Island. Uh, great trip. Got to meet a lot of great people. Uh, Investigation Discovery has a great team. Uh, just a great overall experience. Had a lot of cool opportunities. I'm still impressed by the stuff and uh, it's time for me to go. Actually, that's me. I gotta go.